Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing on GameCube. We are on episode 41, which is absolutely crazy. We are still going. We still have things to do, debts to pay, furniture to buy, characters to meet even. And today we are going to focus on paying our debt, of course, because we definitely need to get that sorted. We need to start buying another house, maybe sorting out which themes we're going to go in which house. But of course, KK Slide is here for his concert, his weekly concert, as it is Saturday night. But first, I just have to thank, of course, the channel members Xander and Caroline, who are supporting this Let's Play series as Marvelous Maury's. Thank you so much, as always. It truly helps me focus on just making this content and getting as many videos out as I can. We are, of course, aiming for daily uploads. So, what should we do first? Should we check the mail? We'll check the bulletin board. I don't think... Yeah, we already did that yesterday. I suppose we could just check KK is here. KK's here. We'll have his concert. Maybe, oh, a leaf. Maybe about halfway through, probably the episode. Um, I guess it depends on whether or not we get sidetracked and how much we actually get done. We've got next to no money on us, a couple grand. Um, but we need, of course, to pay off our debt. That is the main focus. And also to pick the weeds. <laughs> so let's go and just check our mail first. We should have some fossils, which should be good. Oh, we've got a, an extra letter than usual, which is intriguing. Okay, these are of course going to be the fossils. It was a lovely, or ra it was lovely, but also random episode yesterday because it was birthday celebrations all around. But some of the villagers were acting pretty strange. So we've got a letter from Tom Nook. Uh, are you lacking that special rare piece that will bring your room to life? Look no further, we'll have two on sale for an hour at 1 p.m. Oh, what? How did we miss that? That That's today. No! <laughs> what was it? <laughs> oh, no. This is why we should play in the morning, I guess. We missed the sale. Okay, Tybalt. What's up, Maury? So, I bolted to begin a long journey of discovery. <gasps> no, Tybalt. After all the flowers we gave you. When will I be back? Never. But turn that frown upside down. I am who I am. You'll be fine and life will be fine. Keep it real, Tybalt. Oh, no, Tybalt. I don't believe it. And HRA, our score is still in the 19,000s. Oh, dear. So we missed a sale at, at Nook's Cranny. That, oh, another golden shovel. Not that we need another one, but it's always good. We can pretty much, I don't know what we can do with it really. We, we've already left one on the island. We've got no spare. They don't break. So maybe we could just put it in our gyroid for now. Uh, store an item. And we could probably, I tell you what, let's set a price at a mere. Uh, let's do, I think they're 500 bells in Nook, so we'll, we'll sell it for 500 bells. Uh, and then when, I, when we do another ta um, another house to, for more themes and things like that, they can buy the shovel and, and have a golden shovel. Why not? I feel like being generous. Even though it's not that generous, because we got it for free by planting one, so. Okay, Nook's. Let's see if the, if we're tempted to buy anything. Oh, we also need to check turnip prices because it is Saturday, which means it is the last day. So whatever it is, basically we need to sell our turnips. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? Other things, please, Mr. Nook. As far as other things go, this is all I have to off offer. Okay, today I'm buying to. Oh, no. I don't think it could go any lower than that. 37 bells? That is terrible. We, we lost money. Good job we didn't buy a thousand like we did last time. Okay. Oh. So we're seeing some familiar items. Guitar. Vending machine. Watermelon shirt. Haven't seen the flamingo yet. We've got one of these. And we've got one of those. Do we need a new outfit? Mm, maybe not. We're still looking for some kiddie uh, floor and wallpaper. You seem to have your eye on the rose wall. Perhaps... Uh, we can help you with it. Would you like us to spread it out for you? I'm not buying. We're really looking for some specific wallpapers at this point. 
Having said that, we are approaching the August raffle. So we kind of need to buy some things, actually, because we do need as many tickets as possible. Timmy and Tommy always trying to make a sale. No, no, no. What's this one? Come on, kitty wool. Ranch wool. No. No, thank you. I'm not buying. Really? Well, feel free to look around. Green rug? No. Would you like to spread? No, no, thank you. I appreciate the, the sales tactic, but not today. The plush carpet. I'm kind of interested to see what that looks like. No, that's definitely not our cup of tea. 2,000 bells? It's quite a steal. No, I don't think that. Quite a steal of my bells, more like. You seem to have your iron... No, kitchen tile. Boo. Okay, looks like we're going to have to buy... I reckon this will be quite cheap. Mrs. Flamingo. Oh, 15? Okay, we'll take it. A good price. Yeah, we'll take it. Maybe we'll gift it to a villager. That comes to 15, uh, 1,530 bells. Collect five of them. Oh, that's the ticket. So maybe we should buy all the outfits as well. That would be an eight ball shirt. Would you care to try it on? No, thanks. Understood. If it's the price you're worried about, it's only 340 bells. Uh, yeah, buying the outfits is by far the most cheapest way to get tickets. Uh, here's a raffle ticket for your purchase. The raffle is only good for this month's draw. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and buy all these, I think. If we've got enough money, we should have enough. Just about. We might miss out on one. I'll buy it. Yeah, we're going to miss out on, a, on one. Uh, how many tickets have we got already? Three tickets. Oh, of course, we could probably sell our fossils. We need to check the fossils. Um, no, I don't want to try it on. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Oh, this one's gone up a bit. 370. Okay, we can buy one more. Number three. Would you care to try it on? No, thank you. I think we're going to stick with this outfit. Oh, 250 bells. Cheapest yet. I think we're going to stick with the outfit we've got because it was from Tybot, I believe, from, for our birthday. And now he's left. Another one bites the dust. Which means we may have a new villager in here somewhere. Right, let's check our presents. So we got a Ammonite. Ah, Trilobite. No. We need at least something to donate. A left wing. A left wing. I know we've got one of the wings. Maybe we'll keep a hold of it just to make sure. So we don't want the rocking chair. The, oh, blue pinstripe. Don't want the Mrs. Flamingo. Don't want the fossils. We can pretty much get rid of all the stuff we just bought. We only wanted these. We wanted the August raffle tickets because we do not want to miss out on the rare item this time. Yeah, we're still interested. And we're going to buy this last shirt that makes you look like an ice cream or a sweet. Definitely not my colors. Uh, yeah, we'll buy it though. Okay, maybe we should buy... What else should we buy? We've, we've already bought everything else. Um, how many tickets we got? Five plus what? We'll, we'll see that. That's okay for now. If we need to, we'll come back. I mean, we'll be, we'll be coming back anyway because we need to sell, sell, sell. But I do wonder if anyone's in town. I... I don't think Copper, last time we spoke to him, he was just saying that he wished he could go to KK Slider's concert, but... Okay, let's go and double check how many tickets we've got. Oh, we need to sell our turnips. I can't believe that. Oh, so we've got... Uh, what is that? 15. So we've got 15 goes. Not too bad. I think we only had nine goes last time, or eight goes, so that's twice as many as before. We could probably get rid of the tatami mat. Double check we can rebuy that, actually. And we need to start making some space down here. This is a Gracie shirt, so we're going to keep that over here. The camping stuff can also come over here, but at some point we'll probably take that to the island. Actually, we'll probably put that against the back wall, I think. 
That looks better. And the models are from, well, we bought that one, but this one was from an, an event, Founders Day. Uh, yeah. It will look much neater when all the tickets have gone, so that's okay. So we need to double check the tatami mat can be reordered. And we have to say goodbye to our turnips. At a loss. Very sad times. Uh, do we... Ooh, do we need... Oh, we need... I kind of don't like the computer in here, but I think we're going to rearrange this room. Maybe do a new theme or something, so we we'll probably keep it for now. Okay. Uh, we need to double check our plants are growing. Oh, they are growing! A couple more days and these will be bearing fruit and we can make a mini orchard here. Oh, there's a new... Did you hear that new type of cricket? Welcome, do come in, have a look around. Feel free to browse. Okay, I need to browse my catalogue first. What can I do for you? Um, see my catalogue. This is your own personal catalogue, Maury. Just specify what you'd like to order, all right? It's quite simple. Okay, we need to look for... Carpets. And we're looking for the 80... Oh, we can buy the tatami rug. Uh, it would be good if we could check for the computer as well, actually. I don't know if it will be in a set. No, none of these. We've got so we've got 172 items we've had so far. We've got a lot of stuff here. Ah, computer, so we can rebuy the computer as well. So we must have got conned from red. Or maybe you can only get it from red, but once you've got it, you can reorder it, maybe. That that probably seems a little more likely, I would say. Um, okay, that's good to know. Oh, the water bird. I forgot we had that. I quite like that, but it doesn't really go with our... Um, doesn't really go with our kind of theme. Yes, so we need to sell, please. Very well, then show me what you've got. We want to sell. Rally shirt. The tatami. My poor turnips. 9,000 bells. Nice. Not too bad. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been 30 bells a turnip. Oh, look at that strawberry umbrella. I just spotted it as we were leaving. That was super cute. However, it's not raining, so... Let's go and double check with... Copper. Oh, there should be a camper today as well. Good evening to you. Let's be extra careful when we're walking alone at night. The darkness is suspicious. Tell me, how else can Officer Copper be of assistance? Any goings on, please? There isn't anything of particular interest to report. Just another peaceful day here in Moriland. Oh, that's good to know. So we'll double check this fossil. Uh, we'll kind of get all the boring chores out of the way. The buying, the selling, the... Fossil donating. Oh, Blathers, you're awake. Okay, so. Oh, the right wing. So we were we were right to keep it. The left wing. So after that, we're still going to need two, three, four. Only five fossils after we've donated this to complete the fossil section. Welcome. Please do come in. It's so very nice to see you. It's nice to have a different greeting for a change, Blathers. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Uh, we're looking to donate something. Oh, I say, splendid. What, no doubt, priceless item might you have for us today? There we go. Oh, I say, the Petro left wing. Why our Pteranodon is complete, simply marvellous. Truly, this is beyond all joy. Oh, indeed. Amazing. I'm all a flutter. I'm a twitter. Now then, can I begin to do just a bit of justice to this magnificent master of the skies, the Pteranodon? First things first, this winged creature is not actually a dinosaur, but rather a flying reptile. It did, however, live among many dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. Fascinating, eh? 
The structure of its immense wings suggests it stayed aloof by gliding rather than flapping, you see. Imagine Pteranodons with wingspans of over 23 feet swooping down to catch fish in their pelican-like beaks. Wow, 23 feet, wow. That's taller than a house. Swa! Oh, I do beg your pardon. Beaks, wings, flying. It's all so very close to home. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. I suppose Blathers does have wings, doesn't he? He probably flies off to his house away from the town somewhere. It's a weird thought. I've never thought about that before. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? Nope, nothing at the moment. Thank you, Blathers. Later. Okay, we like to check whether Gulliver is here. Of course, we could sell our coconuts. Although I do sometimes wonder whether we should be burying more. Gwen, how are you today? You ignored me yesterday. Ah, good evening. You must have had a long day today, hun. Excuse me, are you just getting started, hun? Good gracious. But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, hun? Let's talk. Hey, you. Have you been writing people letters lately? I write letters all the time. I write letters. So then, you probably know what I'm talking about here. Have you ever noticed when you're really bored and you get a letter, it makes you really happy, hun? Well, I just love getting letters, and when I get a good one, I like to send a present in return. That's why you should write me all the time. Still, it is you we're talking about, so I'm not expecting any masterpieces, hun. You do like to criticise us. Oh, a bug. We need to... Do anything we can to pretty much make money. I don't know if it seems a bit boring. Maybe it's a bit tedious kind of just catching bugs, picking fruit, just so we can pay off a debt. But it is the biggest debt and the last debt for this house at least. Um, of course, if we buy another house, we uh, will get another character. We um, have a bunch more debt, but... We'll cross that bridge. Okay, how much space we got? Only got two more. Okay, we probably may as well take some shells. We need to buy some paper and write a letter to Gwen. Maybe send her a gift. Oh, Junior! Hey, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, glad to hear it. But, hey, remember, if you overdo it, you'll ruin your body. I'm just saying it's important to take it easy every now and then, so you don't flip out. Yeah, so what do you want? Can I help? What good time it- uh, No, I already took care of that. What a shame, I guess there's nothing I need after all. Okay. Haven't seen any... fossils or anything yet. Ooh, our orange tree is back. Okay, Mr. Nook. It's quite funny when you think about it. It's a lot like real life. You kind of, you, you, you earn money and you spend it in the same places where you earn it sometimes. <laughs> yes, yes, what can I do for you? I'd like to sell. Very well then, show me what you've got. Coconuts, shells, and a bug. If I add up, my price comes to 3,880 bells. Okay, we're a little bit ahead of where we than where we were yesterday, I believe. Thank you, do come again. I look forward to seeing you. And we, oh, I just picked the net up and I realised we need to shake the trees down. <laughs> okay, we can get this fruit tree. I think the others will also... Bloom some fruit, hopefully. Uh, nope. Not that one. Oh, KK, we mustn't forget to come and listen to a tune. Oh, it's a cricket. Oh, no. Tybalt's house. Look at all these flowers wasted. Oh, the camper. Who have we got today? Hello? Hector! Oh hey, sorry, but I'm not giving out any camping lessons today. It's a little late and I'm kind of busy. 
Oh, you're just visiting. Cool, cool. My name's Hector and you're Maury. Right on. Sorry about that, a little misunderstanding, but I'm such an accomplished camper that I get a lot of fans. I'm sure you do. We're going to take out some money. Oops. Oh, we can just check. Oh, wow. We can just change menu like that. I can't believe it's been that amount of time for me to find out. I can just press a button to change the menu. Um... Uh, Okay, so let's let's see if we can get a game. Yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. Camping is fun and all, but it's a lot more fun when you've got someone to hang out with. Cool. So why don't we play a game? Okay. Great, I love playing camping games. So here are the rules. I have some photos of animals I took of these photos myself when I was camping. Oh, not this one again. I prefer card games. But some were taken by a professional photographer. If you can guess which animals I took pictures of when I was camping, you get a prize. But if you're wrong, I get all the money you have on you. So do you want to play? No way. Whatever you say, cool. I guess this camping trip won't be as fun as I'd hoped. Uh, maybe later once we've paid off some debt, I, I feel like. <laughs> we can't afford to risk nearly 7,000 bells. But we definitely will come back. Uh, but we're, we need to pay off the debt first. Ooh, a star! Is that Sydney coming out of the house? Check it out, I dug up a fossil! Nice to see Ribbit still here. Wait a minute! Genji's house! Are you inside? Why is your light not on? What does Genji's house look like? Oh, wow! Simple and minimal. This is what I really like, but you wouldn't score hardly anything with HRA. This is really cool. That is one freaky looking gyro. <laughs> okay, Genji must be in the acre somewhere then. Oh, hi! Hey, so, what are we doing tonight, huh? A little walk? Hey, you're not... Do, do I know you, Otaku? Folks call me Genji. What about you? You have a name, or should I just call you Otaku? Mori, huh? Real nice meeting you, Mori. Nice meeting you, too. What's going down? Well, I'll tell you one thing that did the sun. Hey, so, what can I do for you, Mori? Care to chat? Where are you from? Check this out. Take a look at this letter. Someone's got a secret. <laughs> Genji, nature's child. Listen now and hear the wisdom I have to share. Trees are life. Do not hew them regularly. Swing your axe with wisdom for the benefit of all from a concerned lumberjack. What do you think, Mori? Is this letter funny at all? Uh, I have no idea. Hmm. I wonder if it's a love poem. I hope not. <laughs> Uh, I think you're safe. Okay. Really liking the 8pm music vibes. Uh, oh yeah, we were going to check our fruit, weren't we? And hopefully have some... Pippi! Okay. This is what I like to see. Lots of fruit to sell. Three pears. Three oranges. And three cherries, which I don't think we'll have space for. Oh no, my pockets are full. Should I swap it for... Oh, just drop it. We'll swap it. And then we'll just quickly, just for now, put the fossil in our pocket there. Okay. Has anyone had any ideas what we should put on this sign yet? Maybe like a camping table? Picnic picnic table? Something like that. Okay, look, we're coming. Pockets full of fruit. I find it hilarious, actually. We've still not found any apples <laughs> after all this time. Welcome, do come in, have a look around. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? I'd like to sell. Very well then, show me what you've got. 
Is there a way to... No, I, I was hoping there was a way to select all. If I add it up, my price comes to 7,500 bells. Thanks so much. Tell me, is there anything else you wish to sell? Nope, not at the moment. Okay, maybe we should go... Oh, we should have bought some um, paper, but we can do that later. Maybe we'll get some off a of villager. We need to do some work. Maybe Nate's here, because we still need to write a letter to Gwen. And we need to do the um, money rock as well. Ooh, interesting location for the golden um, spot. Huh? Hey, how weird. What a coincidence, right? Spooky running into you like this. Where are you off to at this weird hour, Yawn? So, what do you need? Uh, care to chat? Wow, look at me sweat. We're deep in summertime now, Yawn. The weather changes so quickly sometimes, I feel like the seasons pass me by while we're asleep. I think you could be right. Any news, Yawn? So, what do you need? I need work. Nah, I can't say there's anything I need in particular, Yawn. At least, not off the top of my... Oh, there is one thing, but it's no biggie, so don't, like, race out to hook me up. I'm craving a pear. See, it's... Oh, no. We just sold our pears. See, it's fully impossible to find any in this town, so I figure I'll just forget about it and eat crackers. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. We literally just sold them. And we don't have another pear tree, I don't think. Okay, do you think something will grow here? Check it out, I don't have a thousand bells. Hmm, I think it might. Um, oh no, we haven't got a shovel on us. And I think if we leave and come back, it disappears. Okay, let's just bury the thousand bells. Okay, may as well check the rocks while we're here. I always like it when it's the small ones near the... Oh, check it out. I dug up a hundred bells. I love the golden shovel. Check it out. I got a hundred bells. Uh, I was hoping we could grab both of them at the same time, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to. Okay, so maybe we should... Let's head down to Ellie and Cube. We don't get give them as much tension as they deserve, I think. Especially since they live right next door. Ellie! Hi there, Maury. What have you been up to until this time of night? I didn't see you at all when I was outside today, so I figured I'd have to catch you tomorrow, Wee One. So, what can I do for you, Wee One? Uh, need a favour? Let's see. Nope, sorry. Nothing much going on right now, Wee One. Ask me later, okay? Okay, we'll just check with Cube, and then I guess we'll go and, and see what KK Slider has to say. Uh, maybe we'll just pick a random song. Because we don't want to risk uh, naming the incorrect song again. Hey, Maury, looks like somebody wants to scope out my pad for interior design tips. Hey, looking's free. I don't mind in the least. Imitate my style till the cows come home, dude. Yeah, so what do you need me for? Give me a job. Let me think. Yeah, I have an idea, dude. Oh, finally. You need to take some clothes to Bell. I mean, I suppose I could do it myself, but since you asked, you can do it, dude. I'll handle it. Good luck, dude. Thank you. And please, give me your Apple TV cube. We want it. Okay, we'll quickly drop these clothes off. Oop. And then, we will go and chill and enjoy KK Slider. Oh, finding all of them at once. Okay, that's definitely a new sound or new type of cricket, I think. You're not going to be home, are you? I'm not in right now. Of course not. No, not, no one ever kind of chills by the beach except Gwen. So I don't think... Oh. Don't know where Belle is going to be. So we may as well go and enjoy a KK tune. 
Oh, wait, it's, oh, that is Freya's house. Where's Freya? Where is everybody? I'm not in right now. Okay, KK. Let's jam. Um, please post in the comments which KK slider song you'd like to listen to next week. And the most popular answer, or the one that's suggested the most times, we will play. Hey, how's it going? I drop by here to play my tunes pretty much every Saturday night. Want to hear a ja to jam for you? Uh, you know it. Cool. If there's something you want to hear, just tell me the name of the tune and I'll jam. I'm talking about requests. Do you have a request? Uh, not really. You tap for tunes, no problem. Dig this one, man. Enjoy. I'll put a timestamp in case you want to skip it. KK Parade! Awesome. That was awesome! I was totally vibing just then. I almost forgot to come back on. Hey, thanks for listening! Let me give you the air track for KK Parade. The air check. Oh, the air check. The air check. It's the recording man, the music. It's a pretty cool tune. You can dig it on the box back at your pad later. Thank you. Let's go and put it in and kind of change the atmosphere of the house. It has KK cruising in it. What do you want to do? We're on a popper tune. It's a happy tune. Okay, we can get rid of the computer now, can't we? Uh, I think we're going to get rid of this. Uh, what was, oh no, we were keeping everything else, weren't we? Uh, double check upstairs. Okay. Oh, we need more chess pieces. I've just remembered as well. More chess pieces. Uh, yeah, so we can get rid of those. Need to buy some paper and we need to go and pay off some actually we don't need to sell we can keep these and we can use them to play games hopefully with the camper um, but we better not 
bet our <laughs> clothes that are for Belle if we ever find her. Oh. Sneaky little weed. Oh, we've got another fossil. And the ball. No one's asked for the ball in ages. Oh, no. Uh, a customer. So, what do you want? Um, deposit? Yes, yes. You want to pay off your debt to old Nook? Someone's actually paying? You still owe 145,000 bells. How much are you paying? We're paying like 24,000 bells. Hmm, so you still owe 121,000 bells. Ouch, seriously, who pays him back? Thanks. So, do you want anything else? Hurry up and get out. Uh, not at the moment, but we will be back. Oh, okay, close the door on your way out and be quick about it. We're gonna we're gonna have to um, post the fossils at some point. We've got four. We need to find Belle. Good evening. So, you're one of those odd nocturnal folk, aren't you? A creature of the night. Oh, when I was young. What? What am I saying? No, no. I'm not an old lady yet. I've still got some kicks left in me, cutie. Anyway, what's up, cutie? I want a job. Yes, talk about timing. I was just looking for someone who could do me a favor, cutie. I have this friend named Gruff who's been hanging on to my Pokemon Pikachu forever. I think maybe Gruff forgot about it because none of my hints seem to have worked, and I'm not subtle. I hate to ask this, but can you go talk to Gruff and, like, get it back for me, cutie? Sure. Okie dokie, get a move on. Thanks, Maury. Thank you. Okay, Gruff it lives all the way up here. Uh, don't tell me Gruff's out and about as well. Oh, no. Okay, we may as well s smash some rocks while we're here. Nope, not that one. There's another rock round here, the one we always forget. Where is it? <laughs> Lee, you need to stay away from us, otherwise you'll accidentally talk to us while we're trying to smash a rock. Okay, let's see if we can play some camper games. We've got a couple of furniture items, which usually prompts um, for a game. Hey, are you here to do some hardcore mountain climbing with me? Sure. You're kidding. No one ever wants to go with me. Um, actually, I don't have enough climbing gear for the both of us. Yeah, that's the deal. So why don't we play a game instead? Uh, okay. Great, I need a little entertainment, I'm sure you do. Now, here's what I'll do. I have some pictures of some fish I caught before. Okay, at least they're not animals this time. But I also have pictures of fish caught by professional anglers. I want to try to figure out which is which. If you get it right, I'll trade you for your birdhouse. But if you get it wrong, I get your birdhouse for free. So, <laughs> do you want me to show you my photos? Yeah, yeah. Take a look at these photos. Aren't they some beautiful fish, Koo? Here's a salmon. This is a bluegill. This is a string fish. And this beauty is a large char. So, smarty pants, which of these fish did I catch? Salmon. You said salmon, right? You think, oh, I caught a salmon. I wish I had, but I haven't. Looks like the birdhouse is now mine. Oh, it's going to be one of these days where I just get robbed from all my items. Hey, are you here to go do some hardcore mountain climbing? Uh, no, but we are here to play a game. Sure, we'll play a game. Great, I need a little entertainment. Cool. Here's what I'll do. I have some pictures of some fish I caught before, but I also have pictures of my fi fish caught by professional anglers. I want you to try and figure out which is which. If you get it right, I'll trade you for your computer. But if you get it wrong, I get your computer for free. So, do you want me to show you my photos? Sure. Uh, take a look at these photos. Aren't there some beautiful fish? I don't know if there's a trick to this or if, if it is just random every time. Because uh, they do change the order. We're going to go... Large char. You said large char, right? How did you know? Oh, yes, I caught the large char. Shoot, now I have to trade you something for your computer, don't I? 
Okay, it's a furnished item. What's it gonna be? I hope you're happy with the oil drum. An oil drum? Seriously? Why do you even have that on your camping trip? Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, maybe. Fishing, huh? I wasn't planning on going fishing this trip. I'm actually thinking of trying the, to summit Mount Moriland, but I can't find a trail. I've never seen a trail around here either, so I can't help you. Okay, we need to find Belle. Uh, by this point, they've got to be at the plaza, right? Oh, Belle! Oh, no! Oh, I'm so angry! You don't want to make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Cuddles. I'm starting to get that feeling. Or well, maybe we should catch that bug. Yay, Ribbit's happy at least. Yes, I caught a flat stag beetle. I have to celebrate. I know. I'll throw a flat stag party. Hey, how's the evening working out for you, Maury? I didn't see you at all during the day, did I? You're busy. Good to hear. Busy is good. It's no fun having nothing to do. Hey, so what can I do for you, Maury? Give me work. Let me think. Yeah, okay. Go to Grass Pad and get my comic book back before I freak out. I only need it for a little while. I'll bring it right back, I swear. Yeah, right. So can you do it? Leave it to me. All right, that's it. That's the errand. Don't let me down. Okay, is Belle calmed down? Oh, no. Where are you? Belle! Oh, you're hiding behind the house. Good evening, Cuddles. Hey, did you want something or what, Cuddles? Yeah, we've got a delivery. I tried to deliver it when you were angry, but, you know. It's here. It's really and truly here. I just know I'm going to look super in this. Awesome. Check me out. It fits so well. It's like it was just made for me, Cuddles. I wanted to thank you, so I got some furniture just for you. Yes, I love it when we get furniture because if we don't want it, we can sell it. But sometimes we do want it. Maury, it's nice to know there are people like you willing to go the extra mile, Cuddles. An office locker. Very bizarre. So now we just need to find Gruff, who we've got two errands tied to. Freya, don't go in. Ah, good evening. You must have had a long day today. Excuse me, you're not just getting started. Good gracious. Well, let's get right to the point. What can I do for you? Just hang in. Blah, hot, hot, hot. It's too darn hot around here. Hot all night, hot all day, hot in the sun, hot in the rain, hot, I say. Too darn hot by half. And it's quite muggy. Okay, let's go. I'm hoping Gruff is going to be at the plaza. Yay! Hey, it's you, huh? Well, the evening is young. Let's rock the night away, Blair. Uh, wah. <laughs> Hey, why are you even talking to me? I'm picking up several things. What? Oh, crud. I uh, wasn't expecting this. See, the thing is, I gave it to Genji. Listen, I don't have it there. I said it. Happy now, Genji has the stupid Pokemon Pikachu. I know I shouldn't have let it out of my hands, but it doesn't do you any good to tell me that now. Go see Genji about it. Stop hassling me and stay off my lawn. Uh, this isn't your lawn. Hello again, Maury. What's up? So then, why are you here? I'm picking up. Actually, Maury Cube took the comic book from me just the other day. I've never seen anyone so desperate to have something, and with all that begging, I just couldn't say no. Sorry to pass the buck here, but you're going to have to get it from Cube. Sorry. That's okay. We're heading this way anyway, so now we need to go back to Genji. And cube. Check it out. A saw stag beetle. Nice. The evening is a good t Oh. Oh, I thought it was a tarantula. A bell cricket. I don't know the face, but the name sure rings a bell. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, so cube. Who are we going to come across first? Cube, probably, or... Genji. Genji. 
Okay. Oh, we should have gone to Genji first because we've got to bring it back to Cube, haven't we, I think? Hey, how's the evening going, dude? Yeah, so what do you need me for? I'm picking up. Oh, Weak, I didn't mean for you to have to come here on behalf of Ribbit. Sorry. Well, in any case, here's the comic book. Don't forget to return it. We won't. Thank you. Well, that about sums it up. I'm counting on you. Okay, this is a lot more successful than it was yesterday. We weren't getting any jobs and no one wanted to talk to us. Okay, Genji, you still about here somewhere? Hey, it's gotten pretty dark, hasn't it, Otaku? Either that or my eyes have gone kooky. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So, what is it, Otaku? Uh, I'm picking up. If you're talking about the Pokemon Pikachu, yeah, I borrowed it. But Robin came by the other day and snaked it. I know I should, I should have kept it. I was out of line. I'm sorry. Hey. That's the way it goes. You're just going to have to talk to Robin if you want it back, Otaku. Oh no, the <laughs> beetle got away. Okay, at least we can go to a rivet while we're down this end. Oh no, is rivet down there? Okay, Bell's still here. I, could, I swear I can hear. Now Ribbit's out. Okay, we'll go and see Robin next. And um, Robin's literally just over here on our new bridge. And then we need to, so I, I thought an animal would have given us some paper by now, but. Maury, well, what a pleasant evening. I don't mind telling you when night falls, I suddenly feel a desperate to see people. By the by, did you need something? Here's Lee's Pokemon Pikachu. Take good care of it now. I knew I shouldn't have returned it sooner. I do hope you'll make up a good cover story for me. You will, won't you? We will. We always do. We look after everyone. That's what I need from you in its entirety. It's in your hands now. It certainly is. Oh, I dug up a hundred bells. And we find the money rock! But we're never going to get that eighth bag out. We can get seven easy, but we can never seem to get the eighth. Especially when there's a tree next to the rock. Uh, yep, we're just going to put that away. And then we need to go find Ribbit. And Lee, I believe. Okay, maybe Ribbit's at the plaza now. But we, we might be able to get our debt down to under 100,000 bells today. Hopefully, we just need 21,000 bells to be able to do that. It's doable. Oh, everyone's here except Ribbit. No one ever really hangs over here, so... Gwen's all by herself. Yes, I caught a famed Dynast Beetle. It's incredibly strong for its size. Ooh, I think we need to give that to Blathers, actually, don't we? Welcome, please do come in. It's very nice to see you. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Oh, I say, splendid. What no doubt priceless item have you got? We've got a... I think it's the... Yeah, I think we've already given a saw stag beetle. Oh, no. Oh, mm, well, our collection already included... Oh, no, a dynasty beetle. If I remember correctly, my dear Mori, you donated that yourself, creepy crawly critter. My apologies, but no, do not let this wriggly little beast out. Quite impossible, I'm afraid. No, no, absolutely not. I want nothing to do with it. And all my insect releases must be done out of doors. I'm going to return this to you now, but please, I implore you, put it away quickly before it escapes. Okay. 
You definitely need the cricket. Ah, oh, yes indeed, that's a bell cricket if I'm not utterly mistaken. No, no, that's not necessary. Please, I must insist we leave it in the container protocols, you see. I have to say that I'm not overly fond of insects. I quite simply do not like touching them. I actually find their voices quite soothing on an autumn's evening when their cries fill the air. Delightful! Their appearance, however, is not in the least bit engaging and actually borders the re on repugnant. As for myself, I find them no better than cockroaches. Black, vile, vile indeed, truly deadly vile. Relax, Blathers, it's okay. Uh, we might as well just check the other beetle as well. We've definitely done a stag beetle, I'm sure. Oh, looks like we've done that one as well. That's okay, we'll take it back. <laughs> My apologies, but no, do not let the wriggly little beast out. Quite impossible. No, 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 absolutely not. I want nothing to do with it. And all insect releases must be done out of doors. I'm going to return this to you now, but please, I implore you, put it away quickly before it escapes. No, that's fine. Okay, that's good to know. At least we can sell it. Ah, oh, everyone's chilling. Oh, Pippi is a... Uh... That is a speedy... Oh, we got it! I caught a cricket. That means we're going to have an early fall. We might have to keep the cricket. That was a far... I don't know if we'd catch that again. We might as well donate it straight away. And then we will get back on to what we are doing. We need to go and buy some paper. I don't know if we're going to have time to find Ribbit. Uh, donate an item. We want to donate a cr another cricket. Ah, oh yes, indeed. That's a cricket if I'm not utterly mistaken. No, no, that's not necessary. Please, I must insist we leave it in the container. Protocols, you see. Yeah, yeah, protocols. <laughs> I quite simply do not like touching them. I actually find their voices quite soothing on an autumn's evening when their cries fill the air delightful. Their appearance, however, is not in the least bit engaging and actually borders on repugnant. As for myself, I find them no better than cockroaches. <laughs> oh, Blathers is savage. Okay, let's go and buy some paper. Get rid of these fossils, right to Gwen. And pay off some more of our debt, I guess. Doesn't look like we're going to reach the... 100,000 bell milestone for our debt. But we did pretty well. Welcome, do come in, have a look around. So we want to sell. Very well then, show me what you've got. Uh, we sell the locker... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll send the locker to Gwen. <laughs> if I add up, my price comes to 5,560 bells. Ooh, so close. We need to buy some paper. That's noodle paper, four sheets per pack for only 160 bells. Actually, we'll buy two lots of paper. Daisy paper, we'll buy that as well. Um, and we may as well quickly write to... We've got four fossils to send to the museum. Um, and then we want to send one to Gwen. To Gwen, hello. Are you having a good day? I hope you like this letter. I have included some paper. Please write back. See you soon from Maury. And we'll send her the rest of the paper. Uh, and that way we can sell the last item that we've got as well. In a last minute attempt to basically... 
pay off as much of our debt as possible. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? I'd like to sell. Very well, then show me what you've got. Just the locker. If I add up my present, 300 bells? Rubbish. It's a shame we couldn't get quite 21,000, but I, I mean, we've paid off nearly four, over 40,000 bells, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's head straight to the post office. Where we should be able to pay off our debt and mail some letters. Phyllis will be pleased. Even the clock sounds depressed in this time of day. Hmm, <laughs> huh? A customer. So, what do you want? Deposit. Yes, yes, you want to pay off your debt to Old Nook. You still owe 121,000 bells. How much are you paying? We're going to pay 19... Uh, let's just pay 15... Uh, let's pay 19, actually. May as well. We're going to pay it anyway. Hmm. You still owe 102,000 bells. Ouch. Seriously, you pay him back. Thanks. So, do you want anything else? Hurry up and get out. We're going to waste your time now and mail five letters. Yes, yes. In it goes. So, is that it or do you have some more? We have some more. And we have some more. And some more. Yes, yes, in it goes. Is that it? Nope. Halfway there, Phyllis. Don't worry. Yes, yes, in it goes. This is the last one for the museum. Yes, yes, in it goes. So is that it? Or do you have some more? We have one for Gwen. With some paper as a present. So hopefully she writes back. Yes, yes, in it goes. All right, I'll wake up Pete and get him on this. For crying out loud, who mails stuff at night? Thank you. If that's it, then scram. Hey, Pete, sorry for waking you up. Okay, I think, I think, we're not going to get any mail, I don't think. So it's probably a good place to wrap it up. Yeah, we didn't get any mail, so a pretty random day. It's gone really quick, actually. We managed to chill to KK Slider. We did a whole bunch of errands, got some prizes, met a camper, bought some things, earned some tickets. I would say pretty above average episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you're still enjoying it. And any suggestions you have on themes or which house we should buy next or what you want an episode dedicated to. Any thoughts like that, let me know in the comments. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.